Welcome to Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas. And we are here in the uh, Texas kickoff game to take on Navy. And this is an invitational game. It's a neutral site game. This is probably the largest crowd we have ever played in front of. And we are ready to start this second season as Justin Watson is here to take the kickoff. And he gets a huge block. And he is going to return his first play from scrimmage. His first kickoff return to the house. Justin Watson goes for six. Well, that's a way to make a statement to start the season. Big Justin Watson comes out to replace uh, Travis Hawkins as our speedster. And uh, he gets it done and puts six on the board right from the get-go. Justin Watson. We can uh, continue to see that more from that from him all season, and that would be just fine with me. As we'll take a look at Navy's starting offense as their quarterback, Keaton Reynolds, is going to have a lot of help. He's got a stable of running back and Ruben Carl stable of running backs in Ruben Carlson and Jeffrey Whiteside, and he's also got a couple fullbacks that can carry the rock too. Noah Copeland is a pretty fast guy for a fullback, and Navy has all kinds of power on the ground as they come out for their first drive after we hit him in the mouth with a big kick return. And Reynolds is going to keep it, and then he's going to pitch it to Whiteside, who's going to shred off Torza. Whiteside's got nothing but green in front of him before he's chased down and uh, Navy comes out with a big play of their own. And Navy runs the flex bone, and to, much to my surprise, they're going to come out and they're going to run a hurry-up offense while still running that flex bone. Um, that's an interesting uh, strategy, is normally the flex bone is used to milk the clock rather than uh, hurry to the line. But nonetheless, Navy gets a first, uh, their first play of the game, goes for big yards, but after that, uh, Craig Brodsky's going to get him in the backfield, and we're going to set up a third and short. Keenan, Reddle, Keenan Reynolds is going to get stopped there, and now they're in a third down. They're most likely going to keep it on the ground. Reynolds is going to keep it, and Torres is going to commit to the pitch man, which is going to leave Reynolds enough room to get the first down there. And after Navy converts the first down, uh, Reynolds is going to take it again, and he's going to head outside, and he stopped for no gain there. Navy hurries back to the line of scrimmage. Man in motion, Reynolds goes to his left. He pitches it to Carson. Carson is going to dodge a couple of ankle tackles before he's brought down just before the line of scrimmage. And Navy is knocking right at the door. Uh, first and goal inside about the three. They're probably not going to struggle too much to score, but look here at the end of that play. Carson, Ruben Carson, their starting running back, is shaking up. So on the next play from scrimmage, Reynolds is just going to keep it, and he's going to walk in untouched. But they just lost uh, their starting running back, potentially. Or at least he was shaken up as, uh, Ruben, as uh, Keenan Reynolds walks into the end zone there and ties up the game. So this is going to be an interesting matchup here uh, to watch Navy run the flex bone option out of the hurry up. We're going to see how that affects our defense and how we handle it. But uh, after that touchdown where... Back to receive again. Watson's going to bounce it outside. He's going to get great blocks again, and he's going to be running down the sideline, and he's going to be brought down just shy of the 50. So we actually get to bring our offense out on the field this game, and uh, starting quarterback Trent Hurley, who was supposed to be the starter last season before he was injured in the first game of the season against Texas State, will be our starter this year. And His first play, he's going to hand it off to Deontay Cherry up the middle for a nice gain of eight. So second and short here. The playbook is wide open, so we're going to run some trickery here. A play-action pass off of a jet sweep. Hurley slings it deep, and it's just picked off. That was just a bad throw. Hurley completely overthrows his receiver there. He wasn't trying to throw it to 17. He was trying to throw it to 5. Troylan Johnson, as we see here, Ruben Carlson will be out for the rest of the game and then some. So Navy is going to move on to their next running back. It'll be next man up for Navy's uh, running backs. But Keenan Reynolds is brought down in the backfield here as Derek Battle gets him before he can go anywhere. Uh, Navy's going to keep it on the ground for most of the game. But uh, if we can continue to get him in the backfield like that, uh, we can make short work of this offense as we're going to get to Reynolds and where I can pitch it there. And he's going to be brought down again uh, for no gain. And we're going to put Navy into a passing down. That is not the strength of their offense. As Reynolds drops back to pass, he slings it deep, and Thomas is going to bat that one or down. 
Jordan Thomas, the senior cornerback, uh, first year starter, is going to force Navy to punt. So now we're back on offense. Hurley's going to run a screen pass. He dumps it off to Cherry. Cherry's going to get a decent gain of about seven and set up a third and short. So we can't have turnovers from our starting quarterback like that, like we did last year. Uh, Sasek was a third uh, string quarterback. This guy, Trent Hurley, is uh, supposed to be the starter, so we can't have turnovers like that from him. Hopefully it was just a little bit of rust. But after our first down there, we're back out. First down, Hurley's going to sling it deep, and he's going to find Simba. Simba Goshavanu goes deep for 32 yards, and that's more like it, Trent. Trent's going to sling it deep on a post pattern and find the freshman, Simba, uh, deep. And now we are in scoring territory. Uh, we're going to bring it out and throw it into the end zone. We're going to take a shot there, and he's just going to underthrow Roman Tatum, and he's lucky it's only knocked down. And after another incomplete pass, it will be third and ten. Hurley will drop back to pass. He will sling it, and he's going to – that's going to be another bad pass. Uh, he, again, lucky for it just to be knocked down and not intercepted. But uh, we'll have to settle for the field goal. And then after a fumble, which we didn't get on camera, we didn't record because we super simmed it, um, Navy is going to have good field position, uh, and they will get a touchdown. Sorry, that was kind of a weird transition, but we super simmed uh, a play on defense, or on offense, excuse me, and there was a fumble. And Navy got the ball back on the goal line, and it was just a weird thing. But Nevertheless, Navy scores a touchdown there after a turnover on special teams, and now it's a 14-10 ball game, and hopefully we won't have that happen again. So we're back out on offense now. We're down, uh, and then, oh, man, Trent Hurley just slings it, and he's going to overthrow his receiver that time. And Ferguson is going to pick it off, and he's going to get a very nice return all the way down to about the 10. And uh, that's Hurley's second turnover here, and that's just unacceptable. We can't, we cannot have sloppy quarterback play again uh, this season. We struggled through it last year with a third-string quarterback, with a first-string quarterback. Um, we can't, we can't do that this year if we want to have a chance to do anything. So after a turnover by our quarterback Trent Hurley, Navy is in scoring position again. And they get three yards there on first down. Second down, Reynolds keeps it. He's going to hurdle a defender, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield by Craig Brodsky. It's been feast or famine so far for Keenan Reynolds. He either rips it off for 20 or he loses two yards. Um, if we can uh, get rid of the rips it off for 20 part, we'll be in good shape. But uh, actually pretty good for uh, what could be happening. And Stake's going to get there. Big Stake is going to get a strip sack. We're not going to fall on it, but on third down, Derek Salisbury is going to get his first sack of the season and uh, almost force a turnover there, and we're going to force Navy to settle for three. So now they are up by a touchdown as we're back out on offense. Hurley is in the shotgun. He's going to have a little play action. He's going to sling it, and he's going to find Roman Tatum, and Roman Tatum is going to run down the sideline, and he's going to have a huge gain about 47 and that's what Roman Tatum does man he's just a big play guy Roman Tatum rips off a reception for 47 yards there and uh, gets us right down the field in one play Roman Tatum was explosive all season last year and uh, he looks to be continuing where he left off as Hurley's gonna roll to his right on the next play, and he's gonna find Bush. Bush is gonna Bush is gonna find the hole in the zone. Malcolm Bush, the tight end turn receiver officially this season, is gonna have his first touchdown reception. It looks like they were in cover two there, and Malcolm Bush with the four verts route just finds the hole in the zone and walks in for an easy six. And just like that, we've tied it up. So Hurley's looked a little rusty. He's thrown a couple picks, but there he does throw his first touchdown pass of the season. So maybe he's knocked off the rust. We'll see. But uh, that's looking better than he started. As Reynolds is going to keep it here, he's going to get some good blocks before he's chased down by Jeff Williams after a gain of another 20-some yards. So now Navy, after they hurry up to the line, Reynolds is going to go to his left. 
and he's going to get a gain of about six. Man, that's the crazy thing about this flexbone offense, the way these uh, military academies run it is he's lit up there. They can just run the same play over and over again, left, right, left, right, left, right. You know it's coming, and they still get positive yardage. As on third and short, Reynolds keeps it, and he goes up the middle for just enough to get the first. So fresh set of downs for Navy. Reynolds goes to his left. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And Torza intercepts the pitch. There's going to be no one to stop him as he just picks that one off in stride. And Ryan Torza, the free safety who takes over this year for Jake Gusty, intercepts a pitch from Keenan Reynolds and takes it to the house for six. You talk about a momentum swing, man. That is huge. What a heads up play there to get his hands out there, get in front of that pitch, and turn it into six points. Hell of a play, young man, and now we are back up by a touchdown as we shock Navy and they have to come back out on offense and try to start all over. Reynolds goes to his left. He gets good blocks up the middle. He breaks a tackle before he's brought down from behind. And Keenan Reynolds, again, goes for 20 plus. Keenan Reynolds is almost to 100 yards rushing. Uh, for a lot of quarterbacks, that would be impressive, but Navy's offense, their quarterback is just another running back as he keeps it again there to the left side for about four. And uh, as long as he can stay healthy, he's going to keep doing that all game. And he's going to drop back to pass here, and we're going to get to him again. That time it was Brandon Henderson, the backup middle linebacker, comes free on the blitz there and gets him and puts Navy in a third and long. Passing downs are not where they want to be. And they bring in their backup quarterback there as it looks like Keenan Reynolds was shaken up. And Adam, Andy McKenzie, the freshman, comes off the sideline cold and just throws it over everybody's head. And Navy is forced to punt. So now we're back on offense. Hurley's in the shotgun. He drops back. He's going to sling it deep. And he's got Michael Johnson deep. Uh, Navy was in zone coverage there again. And we just had enough time to throw it deep there and let the route develop. And Michael Johnson, the senior split receiver, gets deep there. And it looks like he's actually shaken up on the end of that play. We hope he's okay. But after a huge reception by Mike Johnson, we are in the red zone. Because we'll drop back to pass. And then uh, Trent Hurley is going to find Troylan Johnson, the uh, FCS transfer uh, who we highlighted in the off-season episode from Towson. He can line up all of their field. and that play, he lines up a slot receiver, and Hurley finds him in the end zone. So after a rough start from Trent Hurley, uh, throws two picks in a row, comes out and throws two touchdowns in a row. So um, we're looking good as we go into halftime here. That's the way the half ends, and as we come out in the third quarter, we're up on Navy, 31-17. to They have the ball. Keenan Reynolds hurdles another defender again, and he's brought down, and it's uh, only a gain of two. He that That's risky, those hurdles, man. You can get thrown up in the air like he did, and if you come down wrong, that can be a big injury. But on the next play, Reynolds keeps it. They, they just Their offense is so methodical and predictable. Left, right, just over and over again with the occasional pass like they had hit there. But uh, it's just hard to stop. Uh, it's just a disciplined offense, and uh, so far it's gotten them 17 points. As Reynolds breaks another tackle, and he's got nothing but green in front of him, and Reynolds is going to go to the house there. He gets great blocking and makes one man miss, and that's all he needs to get into the end zone. And Navy is starting to close the gap here as they make it a seven-point game. And uh, Blair Menifee is shaking up in the end of that play there. We we'll hope he's all right. But uh, Keenan Reynolds, what an athlete, man. So now we're back out on offense. They're going to run play action. Hurley is going to sling it, and it's just underthrown there. He throws it behind his receiver, and Hurley's picked off again. That's his third interception, and wow, like, this is not at all what we expected out of Trent Hurley coming back uh, in his first game returning from injury last year. Um, we, 
we can't have our starting quarterback throw three touch three interceptions and uh, expect to win games. So after that turnover, uh, Navy is back out on offense and Keenan Reynolds is back at it. Gain of five. So second and five here. Keenan Reynolds is in the shotgun instead of under center. They're still going to run an option. They're going to hand it off to Noah Copeland, their fullback, and he's going to run it up the middle for seven yards and a first down. And they run a jet sweep there. They hand it off to Swain, and Chris Swain is brought down for uh, just two yards there as Torza gets to him. So second and eight. Navy hurries to the line. Triple option. Reynolds keeps it, and this time Torza gets to him. He sheds the block and brings him down for just a short gain. So we get Navy into another passing down. It's a play action. He slings it, and it looks like we were off sides. I think that was Derek Salisbury. So that would have been a fourth down. Instead, it's third and one, and Navy gets another chance to convert. Third and short here. Navy's no doubt going to keep it on the ground. And we could have had Reynolds in the backfield, but he just makes towards a miss. I don't know if Torza was uh, anticipating a pitch there or what, but Reynolds uh, breaks another one for a huge gain, and he moves the chains once again for Navy. And first down here, they run option left. Reynolds cuts it back up to the middle of the field and gets a nice gain of six. Reynolds has just uh, been doing it all for this offense so far as he's uh, approaching 200 yards on the ground. Another triple option. Reynolds keeps it. He cuts it back up to the middle, and he's brought down 10 yards. And Reynolds just over and over and over and over again, doing it all by himself, it seems like. Reynolds left, and he stopped short of the plane this time, and he gets a three-yard rush. And Keenan Reynolds is shaking up there. See, he's going to have to come off of the field for at least one play, and that will bring in the backup, the freshman, uh, Andy McKenzie. McKenzie is going to keep it. He's going to run to his right, and he's just going to get smacked by Craig Brodsky there. And that's going to bring up third and goal. So the freshman quarterback is in. It's third and goal. Can we get a stop here? That would be huge. McKenzie's going to run triple option. He's going to get met at the line of, or at the goal line, but he's going to spin off that tackle. And Navy is going to make this a tie game, 31-31. to Navy's offense has just been unstoppable today other than that one turnover and we have a player shaking up in the end of that play and Navy's fans love it because it's a tie game but after three interceptions from a fifth year junior quarterback coach Gannon is frustrated um, he dealt with this all year last year um, we can't have this from a projected starting quarterback so coach Gannon decides to make a change and put Troylan Johnson, the transfer, his playing his first game in a Delaware uniform, in at quarterback. So after Troylan Johnson takes over for Trent Hurley on his first play, he's going to hand it off to Deontay Cherry, and Deontay Cherry is going to cut it up the middle and get a very nice gain of about 15 there. So we'll see what Troylan Johnson can do, the transfer at quarterback, as he's going to run a read option here, and he's going to keep it. He's going to cut it up the middle, and he's going to get a nice gain about eight, of about eight. So second and short, the playbook is wide open. We're going to pass here. Troylan Johnson makes adjustments at the line of scrimmage and keeps a running back in the block. Johnson rolls to his right. And he's got a lot of green in front of him as he's going to take off. He's got wheels, man. He can play receiver, he can play DB, and he can play QB. And that speed is deadly at quarterback, as we see there. And he gets a nice gain and moves the sticks. So we come out now, and we're going to hand it off to Cherry again. Cherry is going to run a counter play and get a decent gain of three. So after an incomplete pass before that run, um, it's third down now, third and eight. We're going to pass again. Johnson's in the shotgun. He drops back. He's going to roll to his right again, and he's going to show off those legs, and Johnson's going to have the first and more. Before he's going to slide uh, before he takes a big hit, and Troylan Johnson moves the sticks with his legs once again. This time he's going to run play action. 
He's going to sling it, and he's going to find Nick Boyle, who takes a big hit right before the catch, but he's got good hands. That big senior tight end knows how to catch in traffic, and he shows his skills off there as he uh, makes a catch for the first down. We're going to go to Boyle again. Boyle's going to run over a defender, and he's going to fight forward and get the first down. So first and goal now. Johnson's in the shotgun. We're going to run a stick play. Johnson's dropped back to pass. He slings it, and he's got Deontay Cherry. So we're in the end zone. Troylan Johnson on his first drive as a Delaware quarterback after taking over for a struggling Trent Hurley uh, leads us to a touchdown. So I don't know. Uh, that, that This smells like trouble. Trent Hurley has struggled all game. Uh, we hope it's just rust and, you know, this is just uh, – him getting back into rhythm and he'll get into stride here later in this season but uh, this could lead to a controversy if Troylan Johnson keeps playing like that but nevertheless we're back out on defense Reynolds drops back to pass on a play action he's going to sling it to Rawls and Rawls has the first down because we were kind of committed to the run there Navy doesn't pass that much so we're not that worried about it as they keep it on the ground here after the first down, Reynolds is going to get another nice game. I feel like I've said Reynolds' name a million times today, man, because I have. He's been doing it all for Navy. In so second one, Reynolds rolls to his right again. And this time, Pat Calloway is going to make him pay. We're sick of hearing his name, and Pat Calloway lays the wood to him there. No gain, third down. And Reynolds keeps it, and we could have had a stop in the backfield and Reynolds pitches it just at the right time, and uh, the linebacker there didn't have enough speed to get to the pitch man, and they end up moving the chains there. But on the next play, Craig Brodsky is going to get Reynolds in the backfield and bring up a second and long. And uh, that's how the third quarter ends, and we'll move into the fourth quarter, leading Navy by one touchdown, but they are driving. And uh, if it's any indication to how they've played so far today, uh, they could very easily tie this game up. So Reynolds is going to option to his left. He's going to get good blocks. He could have cut it outside there and he'd still be running, but instead Reynolds elects to cut back infield into a host of Delaware defenders, and he's brought down, and it's third and four. Reynolds is going to pass it for the first down. That's unlike Navy, and Ginn is going to break a tackle, and he's going to get a couple extra yards after the catch before he's brought down by Jeff Williams. And then after a false start, Navy makes it first and 15. And they are going to option left. Reynolds has got it, and Pat Calloway is going to chase Reynolds down there, and he's going to lose a couple yards. So second and 15 now after a great defensive play by our linebackers. And we're going to get to him again. Our linebackers get him twice in a row and force him into a long third and 17. Bring up a tough passing situation that is not Navy's forte. This is right where we want him. We're going to send the house after him. And Salisbury's going to get him. Big stick Derek Salisbury is going to bring down Keenan Reynolds for yet another sack. He's been all over him today, and he breaks the school record for sacks in a game. Derek Salisbury has uh, been all over Keenan Reynolds when he drops back to pass. So Navy settles for three, and we are back out on offense. Troylan Johnson comes out again as the quarterback. He's going to roll to his right, and once again, there's nobody on him. But instead of taking off, he's going to throw it deep, and he's going to find Roman Tatum. They expected him to take off and run, but instead he stops right before the line of scrimmage and launches it deep, and Roman Tatum beat the man coverage there by about 10 yards, and there was nobody who was going to catch Roman Tatum there. And Troylan Johnson has his second passing touchdown of the game, and it's to who else? Our big play receiver, Roman Tatum, and uh, we are up by 11 now on Navy. And we're starting to widen the gap a little bit. Since Troylan Johnson has come in at quarterback, our offense has been in rhythm, and our defense seems like it's starting to figure out Keenan Reynolds. 
as Big Steak has uh, held him down in the passing game. Eight tackles, five sacks, seven tackles for loss. When Navy drops back to pass, we make them pay for it. And uh, they'll drop back to pass here, and he just slings it out for three yards. As we're under six minutes now, and they're trailing by two scores, and Navy is being pressured to pass. And that is not their forte, as who gets to him again? Big stake. Derek Salisbury comes up with his sixth. Count them six. You need two hands now. Six sacks by Derek Salisbury. He is going to be in Keenan Reynolds' nightmares. As this time, as uh, on the next play, they get the first down. But man, what an individual performance there by Derek Salisbury. As uh, Navy is going to run the ball here, and Reynolds is going to rip it off for about 28 yards. Uh, they just they don't do well when they throw the ball. So even trailing by two scores in the fourth quarter, they're still running the option. Reynolds keeps it, and Torres is going to get him after only about three yards. They hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Man in motion. They're going to drop back to pass. Reynolds takes off, and he's going to fumble. Reynolds fumbles, and we're on it. Mario Rousen picks it up. And Reynolds does well when he knows he's running, but when he panicked there on a passing play and tried to take off, we just, uh, I don't know if it got punched out there or if he just lost his handle on it, but we end up coming up with the fumble recovery. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're back out on offense now. Troylan Johnson is back in the shotgun after a huge turnover. We have a chance to put Navy away here. Johnson slings it. He finds the tight end, freshman Quadell Woodard, the big basketball player, six foot seven, runs a corner out there and uh, beats the man coverage, throws a mean stiff arm there and gets another couple yards after the catch and uh, another big play by a, by a Troylan Johnson-led Delaware offense. So after that big play, we're going to run a read option. Johnson's going to keep it. He's going to throw a stiff arm, and he's going to get a gain of about seven on the quarterback keeper. Second and three here. We're going to run a veer. Johnson's going to keep it. He's going to be met at the marker, but he's going to fight his way past the first down marker and move the chains. Troylan Johnson gets the first with his feet. because He's going to audible do a pass here. He's going to drive back to his... And he's going to sling it to Hills. Wes Hills, the freshman receiver in the slot, comes up with a huge gain. He way to hold on to that catch there as he's hit hard by that free safety. But uh, he does a good job of that and gets a gain of 22. And we're knocking at the door again. And we're going to come out and just run uh, a fade pass here to our, some of our tall receivers. And we're going to find Quadell Woodard, the basketball player. 6'7", just throw it up to him, the big freshman. Troylan Johnson finds Quadell Woodard again. This time it's in the end zone. And we could be seeing a takeover at quarterback. Troylan Johnson has not been stopped since he came into this game. And that is how we will wrap it up. And what a performance by Derek Salisbury, nine tackles, eight for loss, six sacks, and a forced fumble. And also Troylan Johnson in his first game in a Delaware Blue Hen uniform. And he comes out and affects the game in multiple facets. He had a receiving touchdown early, and he had three passing touchdowns through the air, got a bunch of first downs on the ground, and we come out here and handle Navy. Um, thanks to Troylan Johnson and uh, this defense. And I don't know, man, like, <sighs> we hope Trent Hurley was just rusty. It's going to be something that we're going to have to look at and the coaching staff is going to have to go over because you know the media is going to be asking questions. You know, we pulled Hurley after the first half. He just wasn't getting it done. And Troylan Johnson... The transfer in his first game comes in and uh, just looked unstoppable. So it's tough. Do you go with the hot hand or do you go with the experience? 
So that'll be something that needs to be addressed going forward. But we'll look at the running backs. And I mean, Troylan Johnson even uh, led our team in receiving or rushing. And and we look at receiving. Deontay Cherry had five catches for a touchdown. Simba, a freshman, had three catches for 80 yards. And Quadell Woodard uh, got a couple catches at the end of the game and uh, showed off his height advantage there. And that will be a uh, something we'll look to exploit going forward. And that'll be fun to see if he can continue to uh, dominate like that with his size. And Roman Tatum, of course, just does what Roman Tatum always does as he led the team in receiving yards. And on defense, Craig Brodsky had 11 tackles, four of them for loss. He was flying all over the place. Craig Brodsky was uh, just a heat missile going after Keenan Reynolds all day long. And then, of course, Derek Salisbury, nine tackles. All but one of them were behind the line of scrimmage, and six of them were sacks. And he had a forced fumble, too. So... We beat Navy by 10 points. We gave up more points than we probably would have liked to. But, uh, again, a lot of that was due to uh, some turnovers that just can't happen. You know, when you turn the ball over multiple times, they're going to get more opportunities. And a disciplined team like Navy is going to capitalize on those opportunities. So, really, all in all, a pretty good defensive effort considering the position they were put in early on. And uh, an even better performance by this offense in the second half led by Johnson. So we're going to have to clean up those turnovers. Uh, Other than that, I think we did pretty good. And uh, next week, we will uh, stay in Texas to take on Texas State. Um, We had them in Delaware last year. This year we go to Texas, which I believe is at the Alamo Dome, and uh, finish out there. So, yeah. Um... That was a fun one, and we'll see you next time in week two. Go Blue Hens.